We're going to prove a couple basic properties of homomorphisms. First, we'll prove that a homomorphism maps identities to identities. Then we'll prove a similar result about inverses. Link in the description to my lesson introducing homomorphisms if you need a recap. Let's begin with the identity result. If f is a function from a group G to a group H, and it's a homomorphism, then f of the identity of G, which we'll call EG, is equal to the identity of H, which we'll call EH. The homomorphism maps the identity to the identity. To begin the proof, let's take an arbitrary element from our group G. Then, consider f of this element x composed with the identity element of G. By definition of a homomorphism, it doesn't matter if we combine these elements before we put them in the function, or if we combine their images under the function separately. So this is equal to f of x times f of e g. However, there's another thing that we could say about f of x e g as well. Not only is it equal to f of x times f of e g, put in the function separately, but also since e g is the identity element, f of x e g is the same thing as f of x. And so we could set these two things equal to each other. f of x, f of e g is equal to f of x. Again, the first equation just follows by definition of a homomorphism, and the second equation follows by definition of identity. Now we get this third equation, and we'll multiply both sides by the inverse of f of x. We know that exists because f of x is an element of the codomain. The codomain is a group h. So certainly this element of the codomain has an inverse. So we'll multiply on the left. Both sides of the equation get this factor of f of x inverse. Now of course all of these are elements of our group h. So the operation here is associative and we can combine f of x inverse with f of x and of course f of x inverse with f of x. In both cases it gives the identity element of h. So on the left side of the equation, we have the identity element of H multiplied by F of E G. And on the right side, we of course also have the identity element of H. Now F of E G is also an element of H. So when we multiply that by the identity of H, the identity just doesn't do anything. So we can erase it and we have our desired result. We see that since F is a homomorphism from G to H, the image of the identity of G under the homomorphism is the identity of H. So homomorphisms map identities to identities. Now let's move on to the proof regarding inverses. If F is a homomorphism from a group G to a group H, then F of A inverse is equal to the inverse of F of A for every element a from the domain G. This means if we take the inverse of an element A from our group G and put that in the homomorphism, what we get out is the inverse of A's image in the group H. So the homomorphism will take the inverse of A and map it to the inverse of A's image. We'll begin the proof by considering f of A times f of A inverse for some arbitrary element A from the domain group G. Of course, it's a group, so for any element A, there does exist an A inverse. Then by definition of f being a homomorphism, f of A, f of A inverse is equal to f of a times a inverse. But then by definition of an inverse element, f of a, a inverse is equal to f of the identity. This of course is the identity of g, since a and a inverse come from g. And we previously proved that the identity element under a homomorphism will map to the identity of the codomain. So this is equal to the identity of h. But then what we've shown is that f of a times f of a inverse is equal to the identity. So let's just write that as its own equation. Then finally, what does it mean if composing f of a inverse with f of a gives the identity? Well, that means that f of a inverse is the inverse 
of f of a as desired. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson proving that implication as well, that composing two elements giving the identity means the elements are inverses of each other. Since composing f of a with f of a inverse gives us the identity, that means f of a inverse must be the inverse of f of a. And so we see that homomorphisms map inverses to inverses. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you find these abstract algebra videos helpful, please consider supporting Wrath of Math on Patreon. Link in the description. to pick me up and slowly get to know me. We'll unwrap each other until we're never lonely.